Welcome to NetSuite's Suite Success demonstration of OpenAir, a professional services automation solution. This video will focus on how to easily manage project finances with OpenAir's project accounting software. Starting in the role-specific dashboard, we're logged in as a finance employee. On our dashboard, we can see we have a list of our favorite reports, as well as a couple of graphs providing visibility into pending billings and margin by various departments. We have a few tasks that we need to complete this morning. First, we will finalize billing rules for a new project that's launching today. To update the project, we will click on Projects Pending. The PSA deployment project has been approved by the client, so we want to release it to the project team. But let's first review the billing rules to make sure it reflects the latest statement of work. In the current billing rules, we see they'll be passing through expenses to the customer. Note that clients can place caps on total expenses or on specific expense categories, but this client hasn't given any restrictions. Drilling into the time rule, we can see that we've agreed to charge labor at our standard 2019 hourly rate card. This was a last minute request, so the client also agreed to a 10% surcharge on the rates due to the project risk. Rather than creating a new rate card or manually entering the rates, we can apply a 1.1 multiplier to all of the rates. As a concession to the higher hourly rates, we've agreed to cap each consultant's hours at a maximum of 45 hours per week. We can enter a 45 hour weekly cap and check to apply the rule per person. Now we save the billing rule. Finally, as a concession to get the project started immediately, we charge a project kickoff fee of $5,000. We'll add a new billing rule based on the start date. The project billing rules are now in place and unless anything changes contractually, we won't have to touch them again during the life cycle of the project. Our last step is to adjust the project stage, changing its pending status to active and updating the date and budget to reflect the higher rate and the $5,000 fee. Now that the project is set to active, we can trigger internal notifications to the necessary employees, notifying them that the project is ready to begin. Now we'll create invoices for customers that are ready to bill. Before we begin our billing operations, we want to confirm that all timesheets have been submitted and approved. On our dashboard, we have a handy report called the Timesheet Status Report, which will enable this visibility. This report provides current status for all timesheets in the periods we're considering for billing. If we notice any missing timesheets or late approvals, we can click on the email and it will automatically launch the mail program to send a reminder. There are also automated tools that can send reminders at configurable timeframes for both timesheet submission and approvals. Assuming all of the timesheets are submitted and approved to our satisfaction, we return to our dashboard reports and launch our pending billing report. This report shows us all the projects that are either time approved and ready to bill or fixed fee milestones or deliverables that are ready to bill. With a click of a button, we can start creating the billing charges. Based on the billing rules for our project, the time entered against the project and the correct billing rule rates are automatically applied to create charges, avoiding manual input or disconnected systems. We could continue creating charges for other projects, but in this case, the project manager is waiting for us to produce the invoice as they're about to walk into a meeting with the client. We're going to put the invoice together right away so it's available for the meeting. On the Create tab, we will start typing Invoice and click to create a new invoice. We're taken to the Invoice Creation screen where we can see any charges that are ready to be invoiced. The most recent project we accessed will be pre-selected. We can see the hardware implementation project is ready to go. We can choose to hold back any particular charges but if we're good with all of them, we'll click Save to produce the final invoice. The default invoice layout has been produced for the project. The project manager also asked us to produce a summary layout version for his meeting, so we'll switch to the properties and change the layout. 
The invoice layout format is now summarized. OpenAir comes with an invoice layout wizard for customizing layouts, while default versions can be attached to customer records. Even though the project manager could pull the created invoice out of OpenAir, we're going to email a copy for easier access as he travels to the meeting. Now that we've finished billing all of our projects, we're going to prepare the profitability report for company executives and directors. Let's head over to our reports to start the process. Rather than manually sending the report each time, we can share the report to the users who need to review it periodically. We'll select the users who need the report and then save the list. By doing this, the employees who have access to OpenAir will see this report in their shared list of reports and can schedule or run the report whenever they want. OpenAir's security filters give us confidence that anyone who runs the report will only see the data that has been shared with them. We can also schedule the report with a distribution list. We can choose when the report is going to run and the format in which it will be sent. If we share the report, we can easily send the report to employees who already share it by scheduling it to run. If anyone outside the organization wants a report, or if we want an ad hoc version of it, we can download it to our computer from here. We can also run the report to review the data and then download the results to share through email. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.